Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. We had a very wet weekend. Looks like we got 1.2 inches of rain between Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. In case you're wondering, Daniel's wedding went very well. Uh, Andrew is actually filming a little bit of footage of the wedding and the reception. So you guys will have to go check that out if you're curious. I think that's pretty exciting. Our horses are all blanketed up, being that there's just been constant rain showers and the temperatures are below 60 degrees. That calls for sheets. But thankfully, we haven't had to break out the mediums for all of the horses, just a few of them. We're getting things started a little bit later than usual. You guys know that we've been starting things off pretty early as of late, but today, because of all of the rain, uh, there's not going to be as much farm work that needs to get done, which is good because then I don't need to push myself as hard to get here as early as possible so that we can get everything done in the same amount of time that we need to get everything done in. Let's get started measuring out and get these horses in and see how they look. Well, some of the clients are here today because the farrier is here working on some of our hooves. So the donkeys are already fed and we are letting in the middle field right now. I can see George has a loose strap. Hey, Roni. Hey, William. Also has a loose strap. Hey, Jack. George. Rebel. And there is no hay at all out there. Wow. We'll have to head out there and take a look and see how things are. If we don't have any farm work today, we might clean around the feeders. And now for the big field. Hey, Swade. Morning. Can't move. Skywalker's in the way. Sorry. There you go, Danny. There you go, Spitfire. Obi. Saracha, Skywalker, Duke, Samson, Poe, Weather, Gavin, Tucker, Archer, and Argento. Ha! <sighs> That's all of them. Let's see if Archie goes into the right stall. He's been having a habit of, yep, see? He's like, no, I don't want to go in my stall. I want to just, just go down here. Here is where you're supposed to go. And you know it. You can tell he's my mom's horse. Always causing trouble. Okay guys, all the horses are now in. It is manure day. Gavin has not arrived yet, but is coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on daily care. Uh, there's a couple horses I wanna check out. Champ is one. Casino is another. I noticed they were walking a little funky when they were coming in. It may be just because of the mud out in the field that they may be walking slower, but we need to check and see how things are looking. The things being so muddy, I'm in here with Casino. I noticed him giving a slight limp coming in and I don't want him developing rain rot on his legs. So I'm just gonna brush all the, the mud off of his leg so that it's nice and clean. Clean leg is a leg that doesn't get rain rot or scratches. As for the other horses, it's thrush, which is expected. Got an inch of rain, it's fall, grass is slowing down, it's mud season. I'm honestly just kind of happy that it's happening during mud season now instead of just on or off season, because it's to be expected in our mud season. One thing for it to happen when you expect it, it's another thing for it to happen completely out of nowhere. I'm excited for our fall projects we've got coming up this year. You guys hear me mention them all the time. I need a lot of help to work on them, so my schedule revolves around other people's schedule. So once everyone's schedule opens up, we will finally get started building some buildings that will really, I think, change the lives of a lot of the horses that are kept at our stable for the better. And it will definitely change our lives as caretakers as well. That was pretty much all that I have observed on Casino. That takes care of daily care. So not too, not too intensive. Just uh, for thrush, it's pretty easy to identify. All you have to really do is pick their hoof up, clean it out, give it a sniff. It has an identifying smell. Once you know what that smell is, you know, oh, that's thrush. So you can put some copper tox on it and, and Bob's your uncle. You also have to be careful. Make sure that you're not using the same hoof pick because once a horse has thrush, 
the thrush can get on that hoof pick, and then if you go to another hoof that's clean, and you add that bacteria to that hoof, then you can give that horse thrush, inadvertently spreading it too with the entire barn. So you wanna avoid doing that as well. So that takes care of daily care. Now we'll move on to hay. As well as Gavin is now here. So Gavin is working on manure day. Uh, he's got a lot of work ahead of him because he's got to clean out the donkey's pen, and he's also gonna be cleaning out a couple stalls where the horses have got some old hay. As for me, I need to add some hay to the pastures, which means getting on the workmaster as well as attaching a loader, because I can't move hay with no loader. Okay, so based on my pictures, pink is all the way to our right. Okay, that was actually very easy. Looks like someone broke this. I don't know who, but somebody did. All right, then we've got yellow. Oh my goodness, this is going well, guys. Okay, then we got blue. Okay, and then we have our green. Oh my goodness, guys. That was actually the easiest yet. Nice to know that we're, we're learning and we're making progress. That's good. <sighs> well, that was smooth. Gavin is still hard at work taking care of manure. Let's go see how far he's made it. Uh, daily care is done, so we're pretty much ready to turn out. Let's see how things look. The failure is gone. I believe most of the clients have left as well. Seeing a lot of empty muck buckets, that's good. Oh, here he is. Yeah, it looks like he's cleaning out all the old hay and obi stall. My horse likes to waste hay. Guilty as charged. Gavin's working hard and doesn't have any water. I'm gonna go get each of us a bottle of water, which is something I do often and I just don't film it. But a lot of you guys have been requesting how Megan is doing, so let's show you. As you guys can see, she is well and alive. Hun, how have you been? Everyone's been worried about you. Oh, I'm good. How come you haven't been on any of the videos? Well, why haven't you been filming in here? That's where I am. I'll have to come in here. It looks like I came in here at the right time. What are you doing right now? Peanut butter s'mores snack mix. Oh my goodness, if you got a sweet tooth, today's a good day to be here. So yeah, as you guys can see, she is alive and doing well. We've just been hard at work out in the fields and I haven't had the camera recording too much in the store because there's so much that we're filming outside. Sheesh. Well, that's a loaded wagon. Well done, Gavin. Horses are all cared for and turned out on this beautiful cloudy fall day. Next up, we are going to be heading up. We've got a couple farm chores we gotta take care of today. Last week, there was a lot we were trying to get done because of the, weather, of the weather. This week is gonna be a lot that we're gonna be working on the farm because Daniel is on his honeymoon. And that's very exciting. We're happy for Daniel. So I'm gonna be attempting to fill his shoes as best I can. That way, everything that still needs to be accomplished on the farm is still accomplished. After all, it is the family business and the farm needs to make sure that it continues to keep running spick and span. We're gonna be grabbing this tractor, letting it warm up, checking the oil, and hooking it up to everyone's favorite implement, the manure spreader. With all this rain, things get pretty sloppy over on the cow side. Sloppy on the horse side too, but we do a lot of work to try to minimize that. So we're gonna take this over to the cows and help clean things up over there for them too. All right, Leia, you ready to go spread our first load of manure? Yeah. There we are, first load loaded. With no Daniel here, that means that I am loading myself. So the job's gonna take a little bit longer than it usually does, but that's okay. Everybody else is now able to take care of all the other jobs they need to. Now, as for Gavin, he has a very special job. All that training that he's been getting for taking round bales out with the tractor means that he's now ready to start working on actually cleaning the pastures with the tractor. So he is on my tractor and he is scraping 
around the round bale feeders. Again, we're making sure we're only gathering the manure. We're not gathering dirt. So he's gonna be working on that. I told him take his time, that there's no rush. That way he makes sure that he gets it right. Now what he's gonna be doing is he is grabbing that manure, getting it out of there so the horses aren't standing in it, and then piling it. That way he doesn't need to worry about tra trying to maneuver those heavy bucket loads of manure yet. But one thing's for certain, and it's always good to have another tractor operator at the horse stable. Now this is a clover field, so this will be disbined and harvested in the spring for the cows. Spreading some fresh nitrogen on there so that it has a nice good start for next year. Back to the fun stuff. Since their tractor is hooked up to the potato windrower, they needed something that they could use to pick some cauliflower and some cabbage. So I took a quick break, used my tractor, get some of those taken care of. And now I'm going back to spreading manure and Gavin has the tractor all set up and ready for him. Good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully we can get that area all cleaned up. Gavin can get the horses all cleaned up, prevent any animal health issues from forming. Well, some time has passed and some loads of manure have been spread. Uh, we have now reached the afternoon part of the day where it is time for me to head back and feed horses. Uh, we will see how things go, but I did wait a little bit longer to feed, so I'm, I'm expecting feeding to finish right when we finish up for the day. And then, uh, from what I understand, we'll be picking things up where we left off today, tomorrow, and also working some ground. Not to mention, tomorrow is hoof day, which is our big day where we take care of a lot of the horses. So we can expect a nice bright and early start. Let's head back to the stable and see how Gavin's doing on the pastures. Okay, we'll be seeing that bright and early in the morning. It's like Matt's hard at work deconstructing one of the calf pens. I think Brian is uh, cleaning up all of the slop down here and piling it all up, making it easier for me to load it all up tomorrow. You can see him working over there. I spy with my little eye of Gavin. Oh man, what do you think guys? I think soon we'll be able to get him to the point I'll hook him up to the rotary chopper. And... Oh my goodness, think of the things we could accomplish then. He's got a ways to go yet though. He's got to get pretty proficient with running the loader before you make your way up to running a rotary chopper because that could be dangerous. All right, we're down in the stable. Things are looking nice. Let's get these stalls full. Gavin has made his way back up to the horse stable. He parked the tractor right there and let me tell you, he looks good on it. He looks really good on it. All the horses are checking out the bucket, ready to be turned in. We've got the grain for the donkeys and Gavin has said that the both fields are completed. So that is awesome news. Oh yeah, look how good this looks in here. Yeah, this place is looking nice, Gavin. Ow. We got it in. <laughs> There you go, boys. Suede, Spitfire, Duke, Weather, Obi, Skywalker. Oh, Tucker, Weather, Argento. You can see we got some piles of manure down there. When you got an inch of rain and it's mud season, you gotta be quick with cleaning up. Right, buddy? Yeah, you're just a troublemaker all around. I'm just gonna lead you in. Come on, boys! <laughs> oh, that's nice to see. Rebel is uh, refusing to come. So once all these horses are in, might send Gavin out on the quad, retrieve Rebel, get him back up. There. Gavin's actually just about to leave. Uh, he's just about out of time for today, but his last thing he's gonna do is go out and get Rebel. Head deep inside that round bale and he ain't coming out. So Gavin's gotta go bring him in. And Rubble is now here. Yes, Rubble, when I call, you must come. 
And just like that, we are back to an empty stable. Well guys, I'm gonna get cleaned up, head home and get some rest because tomorrow's gonna be a long one. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.